And for the first time, I started reading the book of Isaiah from the Old Testament out of curiosity to just fight. But as I was reading, you know what happened? I don't know what happened, but the Holy Spirit just transformed me. And for the first time in my life, I got to know that the true living God hates idol worship. I cannot compress this omnipresent God and make him into a statue or an object and worship him and say that you are God. I can't worship what I make from my hand. And I got to know the most important second thing was that this God of the Bible wants to have a personal relationship with me. When I was a Hindu, I used to worship a thousand gods. It is said that in Hinduism, there are 33 crows of gods and I used to worship so many gods for each and everything. But none of those gods wanted to have a personal relationship with me in my life. But the God of the Bible wanted me to have a personal relationship with him. And I can call this God Abba Father, my dad, my own father. I can share with him anything as I am. And the third most important thing that I got to know is that this God of the Bible does not require any sacrifices. Because when I was a Hindu, I used to do a lot of ritualistic sacrifices. I used to dip myself into Ganges. I need not do that anything. I need not go climb the Himalayas. I need not go to the river Ganges and dip for holiness to wash away and cleanse my sins. But this God sacrificed himself on the cross of Calvary while I was still a sinner. So this changed my life. I can just go to him as I am. He does not expect my physical uncleanliness. He expects only my heart, a broken heart. That's what this God wants. So that day, I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior when I was in 12th grade.